Wendy Tuck, Cavill Jeeves, congratulations. That's a mighty effort. Thank you very much. Uh, I think Disco Trooper gets all the kudos because they smashed everyone. They stayed out in the big, big noise uh, on the first night and they reaped the rewards. So huge congrats to, to Jules and Clogs. They did brilliantly. They, they certainly did, but you did pretty mighty effort yourself, Wendy. How was it? That first night must have been a bit rugged. Yeah, the first night was pretty um, ordinary. <laughs> um, it was mainly the afternoon that it got the worst as well. So we got the main sail down for about two, two hours, wasn't it? An hour and a half, two hour hours. And a half. We just figured rather than try and put three reefs in, just get rid of it. Because we weren't after speed at all. We wanted to slow the boat down and we're still trucking along fast enough. But I think being a smaller boat, we were going up and down instead of just smashing quite as much as bigger boats. So, um, we're still smashing, but not like launching up a wave and halfway down smashing off, so. Very important point is it's not our boat. Yeah. <laughs> so we kind of have to look after it. Neither yeah. of us can write the check to buy a new boat if we break this one. We've got to give it back to my dad, yes. who was very generously lent it, lent it to us. And we just, yeah. huge cheers to Colin. Yes. Thank yeah. you so much to my mum and my dad who've let us use their boat and have been so supportive all the way through. Big thing about us, we don't have we we've raised money. We had a fundraiser last year before the Hobart that didn't happen. We've had our good friends here have sponsored us. Yeah, we've had, we've a, had a lot of people have just given us little bits and pieces to help us get through. Oh, Brett, you. sorry, Brett Philby, the last week before the race was just helping us fix a thousand little problems. I saw him wandering all over your boat, I presume. Just come down to the boat and go, right, what we, need, we, to we do? need to do this, we need oh, to do this, I'll do have that. Have you thought about this? <laughs> I thought about this last night. <laughs> he's the best. I'm worried that he's thinking about So it. many people have helped us and we're so indebted to everyone who's, who's just given us a hand. When I was saying to Wendy just before, when we started this plan, the idea was to get to Hobart. The, the idea was to get this little boat here let alone getting a podium position, whether it's second or third. Crux is still coming in. He's coming in hot. Carlos never slows down. He's like the jackal. Carlos the jackal. Very good. So, so uh, obviously, parents delighted the boats here in one piece. Tell us a little bit about after that first night, because uh, there was a lot to deal with of a different sort after that, wasn't there, Wendy? You know, it was um, after that first night, it was just that horrible seaway for a while, and the breeze died down a fair bit, but we were really lucky we broke nothing. I mean, we maybe broke our spirit for a little bit, but that bounced back. Um, the major breakage that I had to tell Colin was I broke his key ring that starts the boat. <laughs> That's been in the family for three boats. A hundred years. Three boats now. So, yeah, I broke the key ring and devastated. I don't think he's ever going to talk to me again, so I'm on the hunt for a nice key ring for him that floats. But, um, but no, in all seriousness, we broke nothing, which for a little bit, so that's never raced offshore to so take it out there and slam it in 40 knots is pretty extraordinary you know she's a tough little nugget and uh, Campbell when he was talking about being slangry how much slangry was going on there <laughs> this sleepy hungry angry stuff they call me snappy Tom <laughs> <laughs> we um, last night sitting with no wind at all pretty much came close to breaking me and Wendy got me back on. I was really in a not a very pleasant place because boats behind were catching up, boats ahead were getting further ahead and we were just sitting there at the mercy of the elements and after all this time and effort with not much sleep and a lot of emotion leading into this it was a bit much for me but Wendo sat and just kept the boat moving and here we are and poor Pete who's our very good friend we both worked for Pete years ago so good to beat him. <laughs> love Sorry, Pete. Love, love you, Pete. Pete Frankie. Love you, Pete Frankie. No, he's, he's over there. Oh, he's over there. I love, love you, Pete Frankie. Frankie. But, um, you know, wow, he's been a for years. So, and know, he's awesome. also a person we respect a huge amount as a sailor. He goes the yeah. right way all the time. Yeah. And, um, and you know what's been the nicest thing about this? I don't want to exclude the other two handers in the race, but because we had a small group that had been doing the races last year than this year, we've got a little WhatsApp group going. So we've got this really tight-knit little community, which is really cool. Yeah. Like the first thing, as soon as Clogs and Jules won, was text messages were going to them saying, well done, because they yeah. did such a good job. Oh, they and it's, yeah. it's really nice that yeah. we have this little group, which is yeah. and, cool. and it's very It is very much a community, isn't it, the two-handers, all around oh, the world, in Europe yeah. as well, yeah. You know, I totally don't know any European that. two handers, but sure. I totally I'll join. understand why. You know, it gets, you know, we've just sailed 700 miles together. We want to get to the pub and talk to other people. You know, if yeah. you're in a big crew, yeah. you can do that. Yeah. <laughs> you can talk to the opposite watch. We can't. We still have to talk to each other, so we want to talk to other people. So when, for, for you, having done Clipper and one Clipper indeed uh, in your role there, what, 
what do you what have you learned from that process? Because um, Campbell was just sort of talking about lifting somebody up. You must have got so used to those years of sort of dealing with frustrations, getting ahead, oh. then losing stuff, and just working how you work through that. Yeah, I think that's the big thing, and I just. The biggest thing that I learned was give yourself time to be angry about shit and then, sorry, stuff, then move on. We did a race, we were doing a race, I think it was from Cape Town to Fremantle and we were in the lead for the whole race. For three weeks we were in the lead by 200 miles, 300 miles, fell into a hole, watched the whole fleet sail past us and the mood on the boat was just appalling. And like, I think after 36 hours, I came up on deck and said, right, we've got to get out of this mood, guys. We've still got a race to finish. And, um... Because you're the leader, everyone, what my mood is, is the whole boat's mood, and I realise that now. So we said, okay, at midday, we're all going to dust ourselves off and start racing again. So instead of finishing seventh in that race, we finished sixth by 36 seconds. 36 seconds after six, uh, three weeks of racing. And at the end of the race, we won by three points, four points. So that extra point helps. So I think the biggest thing I've learned is just got to... Give yourself time to be annoyed and angry and go, right, time to dust off and move on. Yeah. And you have to do that. Yeah. And we didn't have the best start. <laughs> and we came back from that. We did. We had to come We're not back talking about the start because no one caught it on video. Yeah, okay. There was oh, nothing to we see there. Up, we were up in the air, so I'm sure we've got a record if you want it. <laughs> How much really? do you want to burn no, the footage? Burn the footage. <laughs> Anyhow, not the best start of our lives. <laughs> The start was good, it just went downhill after that, didn't True. it? True. <laughs> Mighty achievement and obviously not much time to reflect just so far. Probably a few drinks will help, but you reckon you'll be back? Absolutely. Collins said we can have the boat again next year. Oh, did he? Yeah. Did he tell me that? Yeah. <laughs> so we'll see.